really nervous. I had a lot of people here to support me. Uh, my kids, you know, from, you know, where I teach and the East Oakland Boxing Association. But I think I could have used my jab, but I felt like she was so far away, kind of... Um, Maybe, uh, you know, I'm not trying to talk bad about the other player, I mean, the other fighter, but um, she looked a little afraid and just so far away. So I felt like I had to bring it to her, um, which is really not my fight. It's more, my fight is to box. I was watching and I remember seeing you in the gym and you have such a beautiful jab. So it's one that speaks multiple languages. It speaks French, English, very educated. Where was it? <laughs> like I said, I, I don't know. I felt like I was just waiting. I thought that even if I threw the jab, she was just so far away. Um, you know, so I was like, well, why am I going to waste a punch? So, um, but but I think that I'll just learn from this uh, experience and I'll get better. It's the only way to, to go is up. Okay, and um, will you be going to nationals? That's the plan, um, you know, but I, I just have to work hard in uh, one fight at a time. I got a great corner. Uh, these these events. This was a major event, and I think that's what I did get a little nervous, you know, under the bright lights and so many people. I felt like I ran three miles before the fight even started. But um, it's all a learning experience, and I'm I'm ready for anything that comes next. Uh, one thing, how about East Oakland Boxing Association? You work somewhere where most people don't want to even drive. How inspiring is that that they came out this time? I exactly. I was like when they said my name, I, there was like an uproar of, of you know applause and I could hear my boys because I know what they I know what they sound like and um, they're up in the left hand corner and it just made me feel great you know that here they were able to come out and support um, some of them I was able to give them free tickets and then some of them did uh, purchase them um, but I just I don't know I just there's no words to express how happy I am that they they came to support just, I want your perspective because you're a monster I recently found out about the Larry King Story. I'm not sure if you know, Voluntary Road, a student was killed in his class at gunpoint. Um, what, well, I know that there was a kid, but how, how old was he? He was just shot because why? Well, it was, um, he was a boy and he asked another boy to be a boy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It was actually at my middle school. I went there at EO, at EO Green middle school um, in the south part of Oxnard and it was um, when I heard about it it was really surreal because they said it was like in the science room and I recalled my science class and and or I think I don't know what I just pictured because I've been to that I, w I went to that school I was just very upset and very saddened that um, uh, that occurred you know obviously there's too much hate in this world and and that's taught so we need to stop teaching that and teach compassion and respect regardless of you know uh, your sexual preference or whatever as long as we could have a drink together and smile and laugh um, that should be good enough for us to be comrades